Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Carolyn here, my June 2017 Ipsy bag. Yay! If you want to see what I got, just stay tuned because here it comes. Yay! <laughs> this is a bag this month. Is that sort of cute? Wasn't sure about the bag until I got it in person. And then I thought, oh, it's much cuter than I thought online. Not really sure what the full tag is supposed to be, a little leaf or something, but kind of reminds me of, you know, that Rolling Stones album with the with the lips on it? It reminds me of that. Anyways, let's get into the bag and see what I got. Um, you can see I'm already wearing the products today. I decided uh, yesterday I decided to put this nail polish on when it came last night when I opened the bag and so that's what's happening so let's look at that first now strangely I've never seen this brand before Koki have, have you seen or heard of Koki K-O-K-I anyway interesting I've never seen this before got a really weird lid Strain, not weird, but I mean it's striped and everything. So that's the color that I got. That's I'm wearing it right now. That's what it looks like since last night. And I have done some dishes. I've been in the hot tub. Um, this is two coats. When I first put the one coat on, it was really opaque, and I totally could have got away with one coat. But I noticed after some time went by with dishes and stuff that it, it faded a little. So I thought one coat would do. You know, if you were just going to go out and not get it yuckies or whatever, but for full opacity and longevity, I would for sure go for the second coat because, I mean, that is really nice. Look at the, look at the vibrant color and, and everything. It's just very glossy and pretty, so very nice. Um, what the color is. Yes. Atlantis at last. Of course, it's a water name. Atlantis at last. Okay, and next we have oh, the card. So that wants to come out next. So that's what's next. It's this month's theme is volume up. We take it to the next level. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. And I want to get this out of the bag because it's really big and fat. And it's Dr. Lily. Fan Probiotic Anti-Aging Cream. Now this stuff is awesome. So far I'm in love with this stuff. I put it on this morning. Um, it seems pretty full to me. It's a nice, um, it's a whipped, like a whipped cream. <laughs> whipped cream. Uh, you can see the texture there. And I noticed yesterday when I rubbed a bit on my hand and it really oh made a mess okay never mind put the lid back on we'll do that after um i noticed that it um really it was there like yeah, even though it, it's very lightweight and it just soaks in right away there's no greasy feeling it has a a bit of a cream smell but it's not like a bad smell it's just like a motion would smell anyways after it soaked in really nice and then later i could see that there was a small like a resid like not a residue but it like really stayed on there you could feel you could really feel it, so I was excited to try it this morning, so I'm wearing it now under my makeup, and I really noticed that same effect on my skin this morning, so I'm, I'm really excited to use this, so thank you, Ipsy, for that, Dr. Lily Fan, big size sample there that we got, oh, I don't have that all right in there, but that's okay, we'll get it up there, and then next, oh, right, Ipsy, this is awesome. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the little thing it came in, and it comes in all of these colors. It's a waterproof, long-lasting eyeliner pencil. And I can tell you that it definitely, uh, so far, has lived up to the name. I'm wearing it this morning. It's uh, It's got nice... um. They call it's very pigmented it went on very smooth I tried it on my waterline because you know my water line I, I have leaky eyes so 
I'm going to give you my review, you know, within a couple of weeks. So we'll see how it held up with the leaky eye syndrome. So I would say this is a pretty fair size. It's a black. Of course, I didn't get one of the 20 colors that it comes in, but black always comes in handy. Makeup forever. Thank you. Two more things. Okay. So this is funny. Let's see if I got it the right way up. Well, it's inside out of the package. Anyways, <laughs> it's from Peak. Super tiny. But that's okay because the whole thing is product. I'm going to get the name right side up. It doesn't really matter. It's Peak. Anyways, inside is huh, black, black primer. Can you believe it? Black. I was so excited to try this this morning. So it's supposed to enhance when you have like dark colors, when you're maybe doing a smoky eye. I'm not so much into smoky eye for the daytime, but I did darken up my colors for today. I used my browns and stuff with the black primer. So I do like a light eyelid, so um, a person could, I think that it did enhance the color, but we'll have to see how that holds up from, for the day and, and, and the time that I use it. So that's interesting. Do you have any of you ever gotten a black primer? I mean, seriously, Black Peak, Peak is the brand. Um, I've never seen a black primer, so I'm excited to try something new. And last but not least, we got a NYX Whipped. It's lip and cheek. So it's a, quite a sheer formula. I'm not going to... Um, I'll swatch it on my hand. I'm just going to pause this for one sec. Okay, I'm going to swatch that on my hand. Sort of a pink. It's a sort of a sheer pink. I'm wearing it right now. Uh, when you first put it on, you can see there's more color, but it's it it um, it's quite thin and sheer, so it um, doesn't dry down with like a matte dry down lipstick would. It's just a, a hint of color. So I think you know if you were gonna put it on as a blush or just a light for some light color and just sort of spread it around and then a bit on your lips and away you went. That would probably work really nice. Should we use it like as a blush blush if you're like putting a whole face on? I, I can't really see it because it's too, um, it's too creamy. It's too much like a lipstick on top of all your makeup. So that would be a little bit weird. But if you were just going to wear it on its own, I could see that working for your lips and cheek. <laughs> lips and cheek. And it would be convenient to have like a one item go-to thing for something like that if you're just it's on the fly. So um, I'm excited to try. It smells really good. So anyways, and I'm also going to swatch that liner. I forgot to do that for you. Sorry. So you can see how creamy this glides right on. There's just no, look at the pigment. It's just awesome. So um, it's Seems to be staying a little bit on my waterline, so we'll see how that goes. So that's everything I received in my Ipsy bag this month, and I think it was awesome. I don't think there's anything that I really don't like. I'm always happy to get a base item, so bring it on, Ipsy. Looking forward to the next bag. If you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a 10-month in, in the States and a 15 in Canada, I believe, uh, subscription. You get a new bag every month. And it's custom bags, or nobody else has them. Uh, you can stop anytime. You can go through your profile. You review the product and get points. It's really lots of fun. So if you like to get a Christmas bag every month, basically that's what it feels like to me. And you enjoy trying new products, then go ahead and click my link down below and just check it out for yourself. And uh, otherwise, we'll catch you on my next video. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The butter subscribe butter and I will you won't miss any of my videos <laughs> oh my god anyways have a good June take it easy